How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another Emily the Show 22 Career Sim. So we're gonna be doing Jeremy Pena. Uh, this comment was suggested by Flowers GF. So Flowers, thanks for the comment. Um, we have another one after that. We got Adley Rutschman next. So that'll be the next one that we do. So if you guys want to leave some more players down in the comments, well, we'll try to mix these in. Madden content is gonna be coming out soon. So I just want to point that out that we'll probably take the precedence on in 2k as well but we will still be uploading these career sims because a lot of people seem to like this as the alphabet challenge wraps out i do need some more bids so why not do these career sims because they're fun uh so yeah with that being said we're going to do it before we do leave a like subscribe comment down below some more videos social down description playlist down below for other movie show videos and turn my channel for the content tjp and uh, i guess with that being said uh let's go on the jerry pena game play career sim all right, so we're locked and loaded into the game. So just an FYI, we're using the run and rosters. Injuries will be off. So Jeremy Pena is up here, 84 overall in this roster, 24 years old. So he's, they're starting off as a 24 year old. Uh, so I don't know how many years we'll get out of him, but we'll see. Uh, Jerry Pena, 24 years old, 84, second, third baseman, second position. Got that A potential. So exciting stuff. Uh, we'll see how he does see what his career his prime's gonna be looking like but he's gonna be under contract until he's like 30 so that's gonna be interesting definitely a little bit different from the past few that we've done where they're not really in their mid-20s already uh some of these guys are uh, that we did before were uh, a little younger than him so uh, in real life he's i think he's around like 250 uh you kind of had a he started off pretty hot he, it was a really nice season but we'll see how he ends up doing though when we redo the simulation starting off as an 84 and going from there i'm excited uh if he wins rookie of the year i'll show you guys or and he gets to the awards uh otherwise i'll probably just simulate a couple seasons i assume we we could also maybe make the postseason so i might just see what the end of the year i would assume the astros will make the postseason because one thing about this is that he's on a good team so Let's uh, get to that simulating now. At the end of season one, we're stopping here because we did make the post. We actually won the division, played 163 games uh, because the Angels won 99, which not happening in the uh, in, in real life. But so yeah, first season he is now. Just show you guys the stats for him. So 248, 14 homers, 46 ribbies. Not a bad rookie season. Up to an 85. You guys see his attributes. Uh, for the most part, went up a little bit. Uh, he's got some decent hitting attributes, which isn't too bad. Obviously, the ones in the middle, as those go up, I'm sure he'll be pretty decent. But again, I mean, you know, he's 85, A potential, he's 24, he's going to be 25. So, not too much time to reach potential, because we might see... I don't know what we're going to see. This could be, we see a dip, or we don't see a dip, but... You know, he's got good attributes so far. He'll be 240 his first season. 24 on base, 49 slugging, 703 OPS. is not too bad. Uh, the fielding is not necessarily amazing 16 errors he didn't win any awards so 0.5 war all right well, let's see what he does in the is in his first postseason which would be kind of nice so let's see who the astros are taking on uh we're just gonna simulate really really fast so it's gonna be the yankees can they go to the alcs or they lose they lose so they're not going to the lcs so let's just see how he did in his uh first postseason because i'm kind of curious uh, he was not very good. 152 or average homer and RBI. So, not amazing. But, you know, again, he's pretty young still. And it was his first go around. We'll see how he ends up doing. Uh, I would assume we'll probably make the postseason a fair bit amount of time. So, I'll keep you kind of in the loop on that. Uh, if we make it a lot, I'll probably just... If, unless we get to the World Series, maybe I'll show you guys that. And uh, we'll go from there. So, I'll see you guys uh, once I have another update for you. So we're at the end of season two, and again we made the postseason, so which is pretty solid. Uh, so Jeremy's up to an 88, so we're gonna see how he does in his second go around in the postseason. I guess for the most part he had a decent year, a little bit more power this year. Uh, 246 average, 300 on base, 435 slugging, 736 OPS, which isn't too bad. Uh, decent amount of stolen bases. Uh, yeah, it wasn't all. It was all right. I mean, not amazing. He's hitting two. 47 for his career and so far better fielding which is nice 2.9 war see i'd say he had overall had a better season this past year uh, the attributes like i said are up to an 88 uh, hitting is starting to improve a lot and uh, for the most part uh his contact against ready went down a little bit and his speed stayed the same base running and aggressiveness and stealing went down a little bit but 
Honestly, for the most part, he's improving, which is nice. Uh, so we'll see how he ends up doing. Actually, Kyle Tucker won the MVP, which is pretty funny. So again, we're in the uh, in the postseason. I kind of want to see how he does this go around. And the Astros can win the World Series. We're taking on the Mariners, so can we beat the Mariners? I feel like we played against them really well, but of course, we're probably going to lose to them, and we do. So we're not going to the LCS. The Mariners are, and they're probably going to end up winning the World Series, knowing the game. Uh, before we do that, though, how did Jeremy do in his second uh, go-around in the postseason? He was better. One homer, one RBI, 286 average. I'll take that. It's a little bit better than he did last season. So there is some improvement there. Uh, but, uh, you know, I assume, again, we're going to be competing for, uh, in the postseason these next few seasons. So I might maybe show you guys one more update. And then unless we win the World Series, I won't show it to you again unless I want to show you guys the stats. Just kind of like at the end of the go around but uh yeah let's uh simulate the rest of this postseason all right so at the end of season three this will be the last time i stop simulating at uh the postseason and i think if we just i'll just simulate past it unless we win the world series and i'll kind of just give you guys a quick little update how he does in the postseason going forward because this team is going to probably make the postseason every season and i want to stop it every year so uh this year was a down year uh, yeah, he did not have a great season this year. 208 average, 273, 258 slugging, 632 OPS. He was one very, not very good. Only five stolen bases, six, got cost him six times. Yeah, he was not very good this year. Uh, not, not the best season uh, from him at the dish. Uh, decent fielding, 0.9 war. But yeah, it, it thought him not looking too great after his first three seasons. I mean, he's 26, so... Uh, we'll see how he end if he if he could play for like a long time, but yeah first three seasons Not too impressed. I mean 234 career, but you know, maybe he's a late uh, later bloomer because like, you know He's 24 when he kind of made his debut. So uh, We'll see how he ends up doing but I mean it was decent in the postseason last year So uh, by the way his team did get Otani. So which is interesting I wonder if that'll be good enough to get to the ALCS and beyond but we're just gonna simulate so I'll stick with you guys uh, for this last postseason run, and then I'm just going to simulate them, and if something good happens, I'll tell you. Um, but uh, looking like right now, we are going to the LCS, which is pretty cool. And who are going to be taking on? Cleveland. Let's see if we can beat Cleveland and go to the World Series. That'd be kind of nice. A little sim through date. And we are going to the World Series. Taking on the Dodgers, the Braves. It's going to be the Braves, actually. And if we could beat the Braves, we can get a World Series for the Astros and Jerry Payne in its third season. That'd be kind of nice. Can we do it? We do! Wow! Okay, so Shohei Otani made a difference. Well, actually, let's see. Let's see how he did. Let's see. Maybe he won a World Series MVP or postseason MVP. No, Alex Bregman did. And he won the playoff MVP. Okay. So, did not win the World Series. But, you know what? We won a World Series ring. So, he's got his first. He's, he's a champion. Uh, we, even with the 210 average, and his overall is already dipping, so, and his attributes are going down, and his hitting, I mean, the, the ones in the middle, discipline clutch going up a little bit, that's not too bad, fielding is supposed to be really good, looks good, so, I don't know, we'll see how he does, uh, next few seasons, but yeah, I mean, unless we win the World Series again, I'm probably just not gonna stop, so, I'll just keep simulating, and you will go from there, I'll try to keep track of his, uh, postseason stats. Okay, I actually have a quick little update. So, uh, it looks like Jeremy Pena is staying here because he signed a contract. Uh, so, he's going to be here through 2029. So, I guess they offered him a contract and he accepted. So, smart because he's on a contending team. Uh, this team just blew a 3-0 lead in the World Series. No, no, mind you, but they did pry away Dustin May. So they are even better. I guess those are the stats from last season. So, I mean, he's going to be here the next couple years, uh, next four years. So, uh, but uh, pretty solid year last year. He didn't really do that well in the postseason. Yeah, much more in line with his first few seasons. So he had a bad third year, but he still won the World Series that year. And then this year, you know, career high at homers, which is nice. And also career low in strikeouts, which is nice. He didn't strike, lot, strike out that much, which is cool. So... It's not too bad so far. Uh, feeling was decent. Two-point awards. Yeah. All right. 
I mean, again, he's he's here for the next few four seasons, so he's gonna be on a contending team, which is pretty solid. So let's see if he can have a nice, good four seasons. So I'll see you guys when I have an update for you. All right, so quick little update. So he's got two more seasons left on his contract. Uh, so yeah, the power number's starting to dip. He's at an 89, uh, which isn't bad. I mean, you guys see his attitude. It's kind of about the same. I mean, there were some times where they were going up and down, but they didn't really regress that much per se. Like overall, I mean, his ceiling's still really good. He doesn't want to go glove yet, but you know, he's had a good. He's, he's been pretty. He's been decent. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like we might have seen. He, he's kind of just been like there. I mean, he had, like, one bad season, but everything else has kind of just been, like, around, at, you know, around what we would expect. He hasn't really done much progression or regression, really. Uh, he's got 104 career homers, 730 career hits, 370 ribbies, uh, 242 hitter, 59 stolen bases, 419 slugging, OPS of 296 for his career. Uh, I mean, the feeling's pretty solid. Uh, 3.8 war, 3.1 war. In the past two seasons, so he's at 13.8 for his career through six seasons. I mean, and and in the postseason, he actually didn't really play. Like he wasn't. I don't think he was the starting shortstop, but he hit 467 and 15 at bats. That's really good. Uh, also, he we got to the uh, ALCS two years ago and then last this past season world series again so he's the shortstop on a perennial world series contender really or just contending team if you want to just go that route but that's pretty solid so we'll take it um i guess we'll just keep simulating he's got two more years let's see what ends up happening after those two seasons so i'll see you guys once i have an update for you all right so this is the first season that jeremy pena did not make the uh postseason uh, as you can see, his attributes still at an 89, 31 years old, 8 years in the MLB. So, I mean, there's been some regression, but not too much. As you guys can see, the stats still pretty decent, uh, or the attributes, rather. Again, he hasn't really, like, had an amazing year. I mean, he actually finished his career, literally, exactly 1,000 hits right now. He has 1,000 hits exactly on the nose. Uh, uh, the, the power numbers were a bit down, but he's got back to 19 this season. So he's 136 homers for his career. Uh, 73 stolen bases. Strikeout numbers are down. Average, it's like 248, then 252. I mean, he's hitting 244 for his career. He had that one really bad season here in his third year where he won the World Series, of course. Uh, 300 on base for his career. 422 slugging. 721 OPS. Fielding's pretty solid. I mean, his war is at a 21.4, which is decent. It's not amazing. I mean, he's still got some time left, it looks like. It looks like he's not really regressing too hard right now. Uh, the, the only question is, will he be on the Astros next season, or will he leave? I don't know, but, you know, he did give him the World Series. He was pretty solid uh, for his, you know, career. We could have won multiple World Series. Unfortunately, we lost last year as well, uh, except he didn't even play in the postseason which is kind of interesting. So I guess let's just see where he ends up deciding to go. Will he stay with Houston or will he go to a different team? So it looks like Jeremy Pena is going to the Cubs. Okay. Uh, I guess on a three-year, $37.2 million deal, uh, which isn't bad. Okay, that's cool. Uh, the Cubs are in the World Series recently in this uh, simulation. I think we actually lost to them uh, the season prior to this one. So they might have a solid team. We'll see. But uh, I guess Jeremy Pena might be the starting shorts up there for at least this year, for sure. As well, I just want to give you a quick little update. So in his first season with the Cubs, it looks like he is now not really the everyday shortstop. He kind of plays, I guess, against lefties, it looks like. Uh, yeah, he plays second base, actually, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but I will say this. If you look at his stats, I mean, he had a pretty good year, like when he did play. I mean, 316... 11 homers, 40 ribbies, so the guy that's playing shortstop, ironically, this guy was third in MVP voting, so fair play to Christian Hernandez, so, but I mean, I guess he's been, he was pretty solid in his role, so I, I can't complain, I mean, and, you know, that'll help him, Th this'll help him, I think, a little bit for his, uh, you know, his legacy, just kind of just 
maybe get into the World Series, be that veteran presence off of the bench. So, I mean, hey, we'll see how he ends up doing, uh, you know, in the postseason because the Cubs did make it. So we'll see how he does simulate through it. It is a front-loaded contract, by the way, so he's making the most money this season. Uh, so taking on the Marlins, can they beat the Marlins? It looks like they might, but we lost two straight. Okay, no, okay. We, we go to the NLCS, take on the Padres. Can we beat them? Uh, I don't even know if he's going to get PT, but no, they get swept. So did he get any PT? He got a bat. He got one at bat. He had a homer. That's cool. Uh, all right. So I guess we'll probably just see in the next couple seasons because I think it's looking like he's probably going to just be coming off the bench for the most part uh, for his next two seasons in, in Chicago, unless he gets traded. So um, if we win the World Series, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys, so at the end of the final season of his contract, uh, Jerry Pena is basically... Last season, he was actually an everyday player as a second baseman. He did play majority of the games. He's coming off a 256 average. He had 13 homers. This season, though, looks like he only played in half the game, so he's coming off the bench now. Uh, he's down to an 83. I mean, his career average right now is at a 249, 304 on base, 420 in slugging, 730 the OPS right now. Fielding's not too bad. He's at 20 and a half career war. Uh, strikeout percentage was pretty high this season, but yeah, he's down to an 83. You guys see he's starting to regress a bit. So 11 years in the MLB, 34 years old, not really looking like he's going to get much more reps. He might play some games here and there. Let's see how, you know, we did make the postseason again as a wild card team. So once again, he is in the postseason. He's only missed it once. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if he does get... He actually had a good postseason last year, too. He came off the bench a little bit, and he hit, like, 315. So that's pretty solid. A couple homers as well. So can we beat the Dodgers? Let's see if we can and advance. No, we don't. Okay, so they lose. Uh, how did he do? Did he play? He probably didn't play. Uh, nope, he didn't. So, all right. Well, I guess let's just see if he ends up staying with Chicago, if he gets signed to a team, or... Uh, I don't know. Maybe he goes somewhere... We'll see. Jeremy is on the Yankees on a one-year $4 million deal. So it looks like he might be doing some one-year deals here and there for the rest of his career, most likely. So I guess we'll take control of the Yankees now. And uh, I don't think he's going to be a starter. Are they good, the Yankees? Yeah, they are. So he's trying to win a World Series, obviously. So Yankees still have a pretty good team. This guy, Pete Crow Armstrong, was also in Chicago for most of career and I guess he went to the Yankees as well so maybe they're they were good buddies but yeah Jeremy Pena is coming off the bench it looks like uh oh okay okay maybe he play, okay he played third base against lefties so he'll get a little PT got some reps uh but yeah nice so he's on a contender trying to make sure he can make the postseason as many years as he can uh, still only has one World Series, no other accolades to his name, though. So let's just keep simulating, and if Yankees win the World Series, I'll show you. And it's end, at the end of the season, so we did make the postseason the Walker team. So as you can see, Jeremy is now into a 78. He's starting to regress a lot, but, you know, he's kind of served as, like, a guy that comes in sparingly and plays, and he's done that very well. As you can see, he actually was... He went, I feel like that's a good role for him. He's played a third of the games, and he hit 286. So, I mean... He had, you know, 8 homers, 50, 25 RBIs, right for the river bats. So right now he's over 1,300 credits for his, you know, career. 172 homers, 631 ribbies, 251 average, 305 on base, 431 slugging. Again, he had a pretty good OPS slugging. You know, again, limited amount of opportunities, but still pretty solid. I mean, wins above replacement, 29.9. So, I mean, again, as a 35-year-old who plays... Here and there, it's pretty solid. So I don't think he's gonna play in this uh, in the postseason, but especially in the wild card game. But hey, his contributions is enough to get a World Series since he is on the playoff roster. So there you go. But let's see if we can actually beat the Angels. I don't know. I'm kind of hesitant on that. Let's see. We do, and we're going to the take on the Royals. So we'll see if the Yankees can beat the Royals. And they do not. So, did we get any ABs from Jeremy? No, we did not. So, we didn't even touch the 
didn't even touch the field. So my, his time might be up in New York. We'll see if he signs another one-year deal somewhere else or if he sits in free agency and then retires or retires maybe now. We'll see. Let's go that off season though. So it begins the long awaited free agency signing of Jerry Pena. He's probably gonna be sitting free agency now for a fair bit amount of, maybe probably the rest of this video. So just to get recap quickly, unless he does get somehow signed, but we'll see. But as of now, if this is what it's going to be, 1,309 career hits, 117 homers, 681 ribbies, uh, which isn't bad. 251 average for his career, 305 on base, 431 slugging, OPS 735. It's okay. I mean, he made 66 errors out of his career. He's got a 98.8 fielding percentage. Not too bad. 29.9 career war. Uh, okay. I mean, there's some decent numbers here, but I don't know. Maybe he'll get another chance with the team. He might sit here and free to see. But honestly, he's going to regress. And even if he does get signed, he might get a few at-bats, but that's about it. Otherwise, he'll probably just play in the minors. So, I, I, this might be it for Jeremy. Alright, guys. Well, there it is. Jeremy Pena has officially retired. He's regressed to a 67. He's not going to sign with the team. 38 over, uh, 30 years old. 67 overall. Put over 11 years in the MLB. 11.153 years of MLB service. And again, his stats did not change because obviously he did not get picked up by a team. So I guess being in the league for that long, you know, and constantly being a part of a postseason team, except for one year, uh, one season, he wasn't a post, it was in the postseason, which I think was this season. It was one of these seasons that he didn't make the postseason. And that was it. Every other year he was in the postseason. So, fair play to Jeremy for that regard, but I guess we'll go to the baseball reference, kind of just take a look at where he would be in terms of stats, his war, uh, like we've been doing. Uh, obviously, he's not a Hall of Famer, but you know we'll take a look at the 29.9 war and see where that puts him all time, or just with like other players as well as uh, other, sh you know, with other shortstops. So, I'll see you guys once I'm at the website. All right, so I'm at Baseball Reference, and here is where he would be around. So 29.9 war. Uh, here's Brandon Crawford. He's around here. Levon Hernandez. He's just like a point one above. Just kind of looking at the names here. Bobby Bonilla is not too far away. Uh, Javi Lopez. Joe Necro. Uh, but he's he's 874 with Dean Chance, Bob Ewing, and Vaughn Hayes. Dean Chance was a pitcher. Okay. Interesting. And then we have Bob Ewing, who was a pitcher and an outfielder. So that's kind of neat. And then we have Vaughn Hayes, who was a, an outfielder and a first baseman. Okay. Now, let's take a look at shortstops and see where he is around there. So 29.9, again, Brandon Crawford's right here. As Drupal Caprera, so he's around this. I mean, Johnny Peralta's not too far ahead of him. Cecil Travis, Ray Chapman, Trevor Story, Trey Turner, Billy George, J.J. Hardy. Who does he play for? I guess he's a free agent. He's he hasn't officially retired. Hmm. Uh, because I feel like I have not seen, yeah, he is, I feel like he hasn't played in five years. Um, it says he's active, which is weird, but, okay. And I guess we'll look at that other site, Baseball Egg, I think is what it was called. It's baseball Egg, I think, I don't know, let me look at that other site. Here we go, so this is where I wanted to be. So yeah, as you can see, this is where he is around, I guess Lindor is here, but this is the, is this War? It is. This is all-time shortstop war rankings. So Lindor is here right now, but he's going to obviously surpass uh, Brandon Crawford. Okay, it's a little outdated, I can see, because this is 28.6. So, but essentially he's around here, like around this area with these some of these guys here. Uh, for his career, I guess that's not too bad. 
Uh, you know, again, a solid career. Made the postseason plenty of times. Of course, though, not a Hall of Famer. But over 1,300 hits. Uh, and only missing the postseason one time. Winning a World Series. I guess that's pretty solid. He got his money. You know, decent con a, couple de a few decent contracts. So, pretty solid from uh, Jeremy Pena. So, that was his career. Uh, I guess let's go to this full screen close of the video. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below some more video ideas, social down in the description, and playlist down below for other MLB The Show videos. Check out my channel for the contribute TJP. So our next career sim will be Adley Rutschman. So like I said, uh, thank you again, uh, thank you again for, uh, GF, Flowers GF for the, uh, video idea. Uh, if you comment on it, I'll pin it. Your channel will be in the description, so it's not that big of a deal, but if you do watch this and say, Thank you, or you suck, or whatever. I'll still pin the comment, so go check out the channel. Uh, Crest Toothpaste. That's 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 your profile picture. So I remember. So yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, Adley's will be next. That was Ruby's idea, so we'll do Adley next. I uh, just want to make a quick little announcement. So like I said, Madden's gonna come out this week, so we will be uploading Madden content towards the end of this week, and there will be Madden rebuilds. Uh, so be on the lookout for that as well. I'm gonna also try to do Madden career simulations because I've been doing these career simulations. I did like these what if scenarios in 2K, and then I started doing these career simulations in MLB The Show. So I kind of want to do the same thing with Madden because I feel like I didn't a lot do a lot of Madden content as much as I should have. So yeah. Besides the rebuilds, we'll probably be after the rebuilds where we do some of the fun rebuilds, and then we'll do some career sims as well. Mix those in. Maybe do a what if? I don't know. I usually say the what ifs for the 2Ks, but. Uh, especially because of the what-ifs of the drafts. And the drafts is obviously a huge thing in the NBA. And maybe not so much. But, I don't know. Either way, uh, take care, everybody. Have a great night. See you soon. Peace. I've been rambling.